Welcome soldiers to the first episode of the Battlefield 4 Armory. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Drake Vanders. And this is the AK-12 Weapon Guard. Let's get started. The AK-12 is currently the latest iteration of the legendary Kalashnikov rifles to date. Its origins lie within the Russian Federation, manufactured by Izhmash, now known as Kalashnikov Concern as of August 2013. It was made to replace the AK-74 weapon currently in Russian Army service. While praised by Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin for its modern modular design while still keeping its predecessor's legendary reliability in check, the same praise was not well in favour of the Russian Ministry of Defence, and with vast millions of AK-74s in stockpile. Despite this, by the year of September 2013, the Russian Ministry of Defence actively acknowledged that the Russian Army would receive the AK-12 545 762 by 2014. The AK-12 is up to 20 configurations from past models in its basic platform. While the AK-12 fires the Russian standard 545 by 39 cartridge, the AK-12 can be internally modified to fire all manual rounds. The light version can have its barrels swapped to chamber such rounds like the 762 by 39 to the NATO standard 556 by 45. The AK-12 can fire at a rate of fire of 650 rounds per minute, or by switching to its burst mode, a whopping 1,000 rounds a minute, a feat similar to another Russian-produced firearm. In-game, the AK-12 is the default starting weapon for all factions' assault kits, a well-balanced assault rifle ideal primarily in medium-range engagements. It comes with some attachments pre-unlocked, those being a Cobra Sight, Ergo Grip, and Laser Sight to better help new players get accustomed to their default firearm. The AK-12 features a semi-automatic burst fire, and by default, it's fully automatic setting, fires at a rate of 650 rounds a minute on its full auto setting, but its fire rate can be increased to 750 rounds a minute when switched to its burst mode. The AK-12 is accurate when fired in short controlled bursts at medium range, but can be difficult to use in extreme CQC scenarios where a weapon with a much higher rate of fire has a better chance of success. Let's move on to stats, shall we? The damage of the AK-12 is a maximum damage of 25 with an 8 meters and drops to the minimum damage of 18 at 55 meters. It is a magazine capacity of 30 rounds, plus 1 chambered, and a tactical reload time of 2.5 seconds, with an empty reload time of 3 seconds. It is an average recoil pattern, which pulls more to the left than up, having a high left horizontal recoil pattern. It is a bullet velocity of 600 meters a second, which is reduced down to 320 meters a second whenever a weapon is suppressed. This makes the AK-12 a balanced weapon, suitable for most engagements you're bound to face. Let's move on to tactics and loadouts. For the AK-12, it can support upwards of three ideal configurations, those being offensive, defensive, and a supportive loadout. These loadouts are completely optional, and are simply rough outlines. It's up to the user's discretion to choose what attachments they prefer. The AK-12 is best in medium range, but the player can maximize the weapon's Mediorca 650 RPM. Switching to burst mode on the fly further augments its abilities up close, However, the burst mechanic is not without its flaws, as inherent weapon jamming may occur when fired rapidly. An added, often unseen advantage of the AK-12 compared to later weapons is the less kills required for future attachments. Let's look at the loadouts. First up, let's take a look at the offensive loadout. For the offensive loadout, we're going to capitalize on the AK-12's greatest strength early on, its early unlocks. Yes, the early unlocks the AK-12 gets, the Ergo, Laser Sight, and Cobra are excellent attachments best fit to an offensive style of play, and gives the AK-12 an added advantage early on. The Ergo Grip stabilizes the weapon while moving, increasing hipfire and aimed accuracy on the move. In addition, the Laser Sight increases the hipfire accuracy further, allowing better shots when caught in a tight area. While the Cobra Sight is an advantage in some circles, those who favour an offensive playstyle with the AK-12 might be better suited to their own preference and optics unlocked through battle packs, such as the Western Red Dot or Chinese Coyote. An alternative to the basic offensive loadout is the addition of the Tactical Light, unlocked through battle packs. Tie this in with a combination suppressor, ergo grip, and an optic of your choosing makes this weapon a treat in CQC when properly aimed. The Tactical Light can effectively surprise foes, giving you that extra edge which you'll need to combat the AK-12's Mediorca 650 RPM when fired in its full auto setting. Let's move on to the defensive loadout, shall we? The defensive loadout will focus on the medium to long range effectiveness of the AK-12 while capitalizing on movement. 
Your goal should be to keep your distance from the target and engage targets from behind cover. Ideal attachments are only choice of optical sight, often paired with a stubby grip and heavy barrel. The stubby grip maintains the weapon's spread, resulting in a tighter grouping while the heavy barrel maximizes the weapon's already impressive effectiveness over range. Longer range scopes, such as the x4 or 3.4x scopes, are ideal when paired with canted iron sights for those close ranged encounters. Alternatively, switching out canted iron sights for a laser sight also helps in hip firing scenarios. Alternatively, switching to a red dot sight and a magnifier is the opposite solution to more close quarter scenarios when you really do need that extra accuracy. For those untamed in recoil control, attaching the muzzle brake or compensator is better served when firing the weapon exclusively in its burst mode. The stubby grip nullifying some of the negative aspects of these two attachments. Alternatively, leaving a barrel bare is often the best solution, or adding a flash suppressor when it's unlocked. The supportive loadout will focus largely on a mix of the offensive loadout and defensive loadout, while equipping signature equipment alongside it that will support your team in the long run. The best supportive option for the AK-12 is to equip the underslung rail, a short range red dot or hollow sight of your choosing, coupled with either a magnifier or a laser sight. Tie this in with the M320 grenade launcher and your AK-12 will be gifted the GP-30, a Russian grenade launcher that fires 40mm caseless grenades. Two options exist. Equip smoke rounds provide visual cover when moving to an objective in conquest or domination, providing a thick white smoke on impact with a surface, screening movement for yourself and your team. This is vital when capturing objectives in wide open spaces with virtually no cover, or moving to a location while screening movement from enemy forces. Alternatively, for a more offensive option, Equip HE rounds to deal with entrenched enemy positions, to forcefully remove cover and enemies hiding behind, or to disable and damage lightly armoured ground transports, naval transport, and even low-flying scout helicopters and transport helicopters. Aim for the exposed open sections of these vehicles for maximum damage potential, and to remove pesky infantry riding in the passenger seats. For that, we come to a close. Overall, and this has been repeated multiple times, the AK-12 is a balanced weapon in terms of usability and versatility, but is often foreshadowed by much more powerful and much more versatile weapons out there. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Battlefield 4 Armoury, and I hope to catch you next time when I cover the Engineers MX-4. See you next time.